Hello everybody, welcome to the video. In this video I want to go ahead and cover the area selection in a little more detail than I have in previous videos. You can see I'm outside of a structure that I've built on a server, currently on here by myself. It is a storage hall. The main floor storage design here was from um, Cass at Mazuma Games. And I basically took that design, I elaborated on it a little bit and did some of my own things. I've covered that in a previous video. I recommend you go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But for now, we're just going to cover the area selection in a little more detail using the tool, which will give you a lot more versatility than just using the basic hotkeys that I'm prone to use more often than not, especially when I'm working in a void world. So let's go ahead and do the area selection browser. And I'm going to use this area selection now. I'll just create a new one. So new selection, give it a name, doesn't matter what it is, because this is for demonstration purposes only. And you can see that I have a selection box right here. Uh, I did cover in a previous video the selection grow modifier hotkey. Um, to kind of help illustrate what's going on, I'm going to turn on an on-screen on overlay that I found a plugin for OBS. And you can see I have a representation of my keyboard and mouse inputs, left and right click and scrolling the mouse. It'll, uh, you can see the mouse wheel section of the overlay turning red. If I middle click, it highlights the entire thing. So you see I have my selection box right here. Uh, you can actually hold down the alt key. I'm gonna look down to scroll backward toward myself and expand it up. And it will take the selected corner, which is highlighted in red there and move that now i can middle click on the other corner and i'll do the same thing and i'll scroll it up and then i can middle click on the box itself and then i can move the entire box by holding down the alt key and mouse wheel scrolling and that is one way that you can actually use to kind of fine tune your selection so that if you're trying to tweak a selection around a build that you want to make a schematic of that is one easy way to do it <clears throat> If you hadn't noticed yet, I'm currently in the expand mode of the area selection. If I control M, it'll switch back to corners, which is the default selection for it. And that is just left and right click. You left and left click, you'll uh, pick one, right click, you'll pick the other. You get the idea there. If you've used Lightmatica, you understand that already. And then I can you know, use the alt scroll to adjust the selection. When the expand mode, <clears throat> it will allow you to rapidly make a quick selection around an area. So I'm going to switch back to expand and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hold shift and click next to this gravel and you can see it'll put the box adjacent to that. So if I left click on it in expand mode, left or sorry, right click on it, it would help if I spoke properly. I right click, it only selects a singular block. But if I left click, it's going to expand that. And then if I left click over there, it's going to expand left click over there. It's just going to keep expanding. So you can see that we can quickly and easily, let me move that in, move that in. And that, now I'm selecting the floor underneath of that. Now I want to come all the way up here to, I'm just going to fly up on top of one of these trees. Okay. And now I want to left click that back corner back there. And now I have the entire build selected. Let's go ahead and give it a point of origin. So let's say right here, this will do. Go into area editor, turn on manual origin. I always click move to player because I've already done a point of origin in this world. And now what I can do is instead of trying to go in and just save the schematic to make sure that I have everything selected that I want, there is another hotkey that I've never covered before is the clone selection hotkey. So I have mine assigned to control C. So if I hit that, it is actually going to create a copy of the blocks that are currently selected in nice fly mode. Come on. Let me get up here and I'll move it up here so we can kind of better see it. All right. So we'll take, go into here, configure, move to player everything else basically works the same as before, previously and you can see that i have the entire build even the back wall and the flooring and that's say that's all i wanted to grab you can use the control c to make a clone copy of it and that way you kind of get a, a understanding you have everything selected that you want 
and then you can just go into the loaded schematics click save to file and save it uh, there is some caveats here uh, you can see i currently have it uh, named as so if for whatever reason i actually didn't give this a name and say i'm in the simple mode selection so i'm gonna unload this here unload there you go and simple mode selection i already have a selection around that so if it doesn't have a name or if it's currently like currently it does have a name but normally by default it's going to be unnamed or something like that um so say it's like that and i make a cloned copy of it you can see now that it's going to be unnamed and it's in memory only and i could save that to file but it's going to show up as unnamed so prior to creating your clone copy you want to set a name in the area editor first then create a clone copy and it will actually give it that name and then when you go to save to file it'll actually give it that name that you gave it um, if you manage to create one and save it so let's do that real quick i've already done this once before so uh, i've got it as unnamed but loaded schematics i want to save to file and it's currently unnamed so put it in there and it's unnamed all right <clears throat> what we can you can actually rename that with the schematic manager i've never covered this before so you just go in here change the name so give it a name whatever you want doesn't matter and you can see currently right here it's still unnamed that is actually the windows system file name and then what will show up in the world would be the aswdg that i just gave it so i can go into load schematic and click on this and load it and then go into schematic placement you can see the one that i originally did the cloned copy which is in memory only you can see a file in memory only and then right here it's unnamed.lightmatic which is the file name within the windows operating system or and then the schematic name aswdg i am going to remove these but you kind of get the point there uh, so it, easy manipulation tactics you can actually middle click on the corners so let me zoom to make sure i'm on it and you can see it highlights and then i can uh, alt scroll to adjust the size of it and then if i could see that other corner i could middle click on it i can middle click on the actual point of origin <clears throat> and alt scroll and move it around and now the point of origin will be right there instead of out on the ground i can middle click on the entire box and move it and then I can save the schematic however I want. So that's basically it for this video. I do thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and you have a good day.